Hello, welcome on in. Trainers, Mrs. My 100 here in Lower Manhattan. This is actually Zuccotti Park um, down in Lower Manhattan, and we're here for raid hour. We are readying up for this Buzzwall raid. Right now, we have five star raids, are our Ultra Beasts. Depending on where you live in the world, you're getting a different Ultra Beast as your tier five raid. So, for the Americas, we've got Buzzwall. For Europe and Africa, and I think the Middle East also, you are getting Faramosa, which isn't super exciting. And then for Asia and Australia, New Zealand region, you are getting Zergatry is the one in the Asia region. So uh, none of these can be shiny, so we're kind of going super casual today. I wanted to shoot a video though here in uh, downtown to give you a little bit about the news and just catch you up on all the things while we do our raid hour though. Oh, and we got our buddy. We got the buddy boost because Tak and I, uh, Tak is here by the way, we are doing the little uh, party play thing. So you get a little bonus when you're in the party play and doing a raid together. So that's pretty neat. Now, I did want to talk also about the news. This Saturday is Rowlet Community Day. In case you did not know, Rowlet is the grass type starter from the Alola region. It's very cute. It's shiny is going to be available this Saturday for my trainer friends here in New New York. From what I understand, there is going to be a sort of smaller meetup happening in Bryant Park because the weather is forecasted to not be great. I understand there is supposed to be a snowstorm this weekend, actually, with like five inches of snow predicted or something like that. And if it warms up, it's going to be really, really rainy and gross. So just as a heads up, if you were planning to come to Midtown for that community day, I was originally planning to, and now I'm not 100% sure, but I've also trek through a snowstorm to raid Samurott in Canada. So I feel like I probably am going to be fine. Right, chat? Chat, viewers, whoever you are, thanks for watching. If you're new here, by the way, hit the subscribe button. Now, I think our buzz wall is almost down. Do we know what the Hundo CP is? Talk, do you know the Sundo CP? 1977, okay. Okay, so here's the thing. One, I can't kneel anymore, so I'm gonna back up. But you can still hear me, because I have my mic. Hey, portable mic. Okay, um, let's go ahead and catch. There is no shiny available, so there is no shiny check here, but ooh, look at you talk with the final strike. And I have the big one. Let's go. <laughs> Three, two, one, CP is 1932? trash. <laughs> Sorry, Buzzy. We're going to quick catch. We're not quick catch you. We're going to quickly catch you. And then we're going to do a little bit more exploring because there's about an hour and a half left of the New Year's event. Just got to get ourselves a shiny bowed. I was going to call it a Kirby. It's Jigglypuff. And then we're going to go and head to a food spot. If you've been watching my shorts here on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram, you know I've been doing a lot of brunches with Small Ev. We're going to take small live and talk to uh, a dinner spot that I found that I'm very excited to try. So y'all are going to get to come along with us for this long video as well. So let's go ahead and catch this buzz wall and get going. Woo! All right, we're inside Fulton right now, Fulton Street. This is a train station that just renovated a couple of years ago. We just finished the raid at the gym for buzz wall. Let's see if we get a hundo. What's the hundo again? 1977. 1977. What a year. What, how old were you? No, don't answer that question. Don't answer that question. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, it's a 1942. What a trash, trash buzz wall. Hmm, okay. Well, we're gonna catch it and then go catch the bus so that we can go get food. I realize I'm also completely backlit and my hair looks golden bronze right now for some reason. But anyway, um, like I mentioned before, here's Talk. Talk is our one of our good friends here in Pogo, um, and he is completely free to play, so we can share some of his stats later so you can see how impressive his free to play grind is because it's absolutely out of this world bonkers. All right, let's catch this buzz wall and then get some food. Woo! Okay, next buzz walls. Done. What was that? The third one or the fourth one? Whatever. It doesn't matter. They're not shiny. It's not that important. We have taking the bus to the Lower East Side now though. If you know, there's a donut plant over here. It's also the pickle, pickle guys? I don't even know what it's called. Anyway, Lower East Side, very uh, neat little neighborhood. But 
interesting thing about this raid is that because Tak and I are in the party play right now, and there was only five people in this lobby. One was a level 31, one was a 21, and we're both level 50, and the other guy was like a 40-something, I think. But we, uh, we were able to take down pretty quickly because of that bonus party play uh, where the you get extra damage by tapping that little button on the top or the bottom left. So that helped a lot. Ooh, weather boosted. What is the... 2417. Oh, oh, 2415. <laughs> Yeesh. Bottom. Near bottom right there. All right, so we are like a block away from the food spot now. So I keep saying the food spot at the end of the clip. I, I trust we're going to go to the food spot, okay? Ready? Let's go. This is the cutest little spot ever. I could just pinch its chubby little cheeks and tussle its curly hair. Ahem, <clears throat> mime. Focus. Anyway, this is Manoche, a Lebanese eatery with two locations here in New York City. This one is on Grand Street on the Lower East Side, and today I'm visiting with Smoliv and my very good Pokemon Go friend, Tak. The menu is vast, but every item looks absolutely mouthwatering. My hangry gets the best of me, and I order the kofta platter, completely forgetting that we should really be getting the signature Manoche flatbread next time. The portions are huge, and I am absolutely stoked by the generous amounts of tahina, hummus, and flavorful kofta on a bed of frika grains. Smoliv is thoroughly impressed. I'm absolutely stuffed, but there is no way I'm skipping dessert. I get the Ashta Mary Cream, an orange blossom and rose water flavored soft serve ice cream. Holy Miltank, so good! 10 out of 10. We'll be checking out the Greenwich Village location soon for breakfast. Welcome back to the Bronx, a.k.a. my apartment, a.k.a. HQ. That was a fun little adventure here for Raid Hour in New York City, Lower Manhattan. How often do I shoot videos at night? Almost never. So big shout out to Talk for agreeing to come out with me and, and shoot this little mini adventure. And I hope you also enjoyed our little food uh, adventure with Smoliv as well. Let's go over our Pokemon haul for the day. So, age zero and four star surprisingly i have two things here i thought there was only one <laughs> but apparently there's a darmaka that i got as a hundo i don't remember this let's see where it's from it's a field research task okay that's cool that's cool i'm down with this so glad we got a hundo here and and the second hundo here is from re-rolling jigglypuffs with bows with talk uh while we were having our dinner and um randomly got a hundo jigglypuff our lucky trade was terrible but jigglypuff we got a hundo out of it so that's pretty neat buzzwall we ended up doing three raids three raids two of them non-weather boosted one weather boosted and the cps here the the ivs on them not great not great lastly let's look at the shiny so age zero and shiny we got one snubble right after uh dinner we were taking the bus to catch the train and randomly clicked on a snubble and it was shiny hey i will take it that is pretty cool um i can't remember the last time i got a snubble and it's a purple shiny so purple shinies are always s tier so thank you for that and that is all for today's adventure if you're new here hit the subscribe button smash that thumbs up let me know in the comments down below how you did for the new year's event did you get any hundos any shinies any costumed special shinies that you want to share about let me know in the comments and uh yeah be sure to follow on all the other social media platforms as well i hope to see you there bye